there's a whole lot of beef at this table. Ashley, she had interesting information to say about Cherise. When Candace and Monique had their fallout, Candace made a huge effort to become friends with Cherise. I did not know that you all had that much beef. The word on the street is, Monique and her trainer were a wee bit too close for comfort. And Sharice has told people, this is a damn mess. We're trying to get to a better place. Stop talking about it. No, apologies need to happen. Shut the up. All of I don't want to get into the conversation. As someone who's on the outside looking in, is it just Candace apologizing or is it both of them apologizing to each other? You said a lot of very negative things about me on social media. Give me some primer. She has called me a concubine, a winch, a roach. She has called my husband an overseer. While I'm laid up in the hospital, legs wide open, pushing out a human. It's like, why am I going to continue to make an effort to squash things with you and to get to a better place when you constantly say snide things? It seems like y'all are always having her. But no, you're not going to browbeat It seems like everyone is forcing her to apologize. It's totally not the right way to browbeat somebody because not only is it not an apology, but on top of that, it's not genuine. Do I need to say it in, in, in Swedish? I'm not going to engage you when you have an audience. You have an audience, too. But I'm not trying to engage in any sort of crazy attitudinal stuff. There is a sordid history in this group of creating mayhem, foolishness, and contention at tables. Then it's going to end in mass hysteria. This is a peaceful Candace. Hello, nice to meet you. Have you not forgotten how you? I'm not. I don't know what part of I'm not. Shut the up. Excuse you? Shut up. Excuse you? Yes. Be quiet. No, I will not be quiet. Be quiet. You forget. You going berserk on her and throwing a knife at her. Get the out. Let's go. Move it over. Anywhere else. Because she came back into a home that she was asked to leave. Me coming here. I'm speaking. Me coming here. Go ahead, baby girl. Was speak, speak, speak. Don't You're speaking. Go ahead. Don't do. We that. listening. Go. I mean, this this is crazy to me. Go ahead. This is I'm crazy listening. To me. I'm listening. Candace and Monique are coming for each other's neck, and it's kind of about Ashley, but not really. I think it has everything to do with Sharice, and everything to do with the trainer, and everything to do with the fact that Candace and Sharice are now friends. So how close are you and Sharice? Teresa and I are good friends. We're friends. Since when? We've always been okay. I have a problem with you knowing the history and not giving me a heads up. I didn't know that you all were you that. Know. I, Monique, you know. Monique, when was the last time you talked you to her? Know. Why I don't fool with her? To the point where my husband wants to cuss her out if he sees her. Last time I checked, Sharice and Monique beef was two years stale in the back of the cabinet. It's in the back of the refrigerator with mold on it, as far as I know. We're I supposed see. to be close yes. friends. I would expect for my girl Candace to say, okay. hey, just so you know, so-and-so's going to be here. So I apologize for not letting you know. Thank you. Because I, I do that. feel like, yes, I could have let you know. Honestly, I was planning this party. I went on my little address book, and I was clicking names of people that I thought would be interested in coming, that I wanted to be there, including all of you. <clears throat> Don't say all. And, well. We did, I did not invite okay. you. It was no shade. There are no hard feelings. It was right. I'd like her to be put to bed tonight. Can I just say this? Honestly, my goal for this night was I was really wanting y'all to get on the same page. I think I we need saying, to stop this. We need to stop this. This is not going to happen. And I understand your intentions, Monique, but I can also understand Candace's position here. Too. This apology needs to come from the both of them and from a good place. I don't know why Giselle and Monique made themselves the police at this table to force an apology out of Candace for Ashley. I'm trying to eat my dinner because this is some wonderful chili and sea bass and I would like to enjoy it. That's what I was thinking about. My fish. I do love Candace as a woman. I want you to be happy. The issues that we have, 
yes, they need to be resolved. They do. Privately, the, I think privately. I will accept that privately. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Oh, right. I guess that's Resolution. progress. Yes. That is progress. We made some progress. All right, I'm happy with it. Let's toast yes, to that. Yes, Grandma. Please. Please. Let's Let's we made progress. progress. We're happy We're because here. Ashley. Yes, I know you too. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to progress. We're not going to toast the No, I'm not. I, to pro happy. Progress is great. But, yeah. I called Monique and said, hey, girl. Is it cool if I come to this little dinner? Is it going to be a problem? Am I going to be peacefully received? <laughs> and she had nothing but, yeah, girl, sure. I asked Ashley and she's fine. So who's on bullshit today? The whole motherfucking table.